talking about history a little bit, I also would not forget to mention his under obligation with respect to apply these principles. Judges at Kenya Supreme Court have begun hearing petitions who are challenging the results of the August 8th presidential election. The seven judges have until September the 1st to rule in the case which saw opposition leader Raila Odinga front allegations of computer hacking and fraud over the victory of incumbent President Uhuru Kenyatta. If an election is not conducted in accordance with the Constitution, then your lordships need not look at the results in terms of the numerical numbers or votes garnered by the respective candidates. Court has also permitted lawyers for Odinga's National Super Alliance Coalition to have access to the computer servers of the Independent Electoral and Borders Commission in order to prove allegations that the results were fiddled. But on the authority of minor Kiai and the law, the basis of declaration of a winner of the presidential election is the result as announced at the polling station. The question therefore will be asked later. On what basis did the IBC announce a winner on 11th of August, when on 14th August they do not have all the 34 A's? Rayla Odinga also challenged his last election defeat in the 2013 polls in court. However, he lost. The Kenya polls in 2007 spread violent protests followed by the declaration of Odinga's loss. The recent August polls have since been criticized by observers and human rights groups who fault the police on using excessive force to crush opposition protests.